ABC News 1 for Saturday, May 31st, 1986. The closed circuit feed, not an on-the-air program. This is Alan Jeffrey. We've dropped story number eight, New York Legs Mini Marathon. And we have several ads. California bus crash update. Natural sound, 46 seconds. David, Maryland, Reagan radio address, sound by 32 seconds. The world is watching. If actions by a few senators allow terrorists to find safe haven in the United States, then there will be irreparable damage. Refusal to approve the supplementary treaty would undermine our ability to pressure other countries to extradite terrorists who have murdered our citizens. And rejection of this treaty would be an affront to British Prime Minister Margaret Thatcher, one European leader who, at great political risk, stood shoulder to shoulder with us during our operations against Gaddafi's terrorism. California, Alan Cranston gives democratic response, sound by 46 seconds. Congress is fed up with third world dictators and potentates who thwart vital American national interests and then expect speedy and unhampered delivery of our most advanced military weapons. We've provided Saudi Arabia with $50 billion worth of American arms, more than to any nation on earth. It's high time we told the Saudis that friendship is a two-way street. President Reagan is pursuing an arms policy in the Middle East that has been rejected by an overwhelming majority of Republicans and Democrats in both houses of Congress. All wisdom does not reside in the White House. The President would do well to listen to the voices of caution. Cincinnati cards beat Reds 11 to 2, natural sound 48 seconds. Philadelphia Phillies beat Padres one to nothing. Silent, 41 seconds. Now here's today's weather, 60 seconds. Mexico World Cup prep, one minute thirty three seconds. Millions of pesos have been spent by the Mexicans glamorizing the World Cup. This TV commercial is one of many examples. They're designed to transform the image of this near bankrupt country. That process includes banishing all beggars from Mexico City for the next four weeks. 
The street traders who sell World Cup souvenirs amongst the rush hour traffic have also been told to go. So too have the fire eaters who, despite what the Mexicans think, are one of the favourite tourist attractions here. Strangely, there are few downtown stores which offer for sale the official memorabilia. The reason? The earthquake tragically interrupted, the plans, excitement and enthusiasm first envisaged. Even the sales of matchday tickets have off the record not gone as well as expected. Though big money is being paid for the most attractive fixtures, there are still acres of space available for the less popular games. For the black market ticket touts who banked on brisk business, the cash flow is slow. But for this coveted ticket, a passport to the final, they will name their own price before the big day. There are few Union Jacks in town as yet, but the Mexican press is preparing for the arrival of the main bulk of fans. Newspapers have printed this message from the captains of England, Scotland and Northern Ireland, appealing to supporters to behave. The papers add that those fans have reputations for drunkenness and aggression. If that turns out to be true, the Mexican army, now guarding all soccer stadiums, have warned they will make arrests first, ask questions later. England commemorative flight ends in crash, 44 seconds. It was to have been the crowning moment of a flight marking the first ever crossing of the Atlantic by air in 1919. The World War II Catalina had already touched down without a hitch several times on its way from New York. In Plymouth, though, the landing went disastrously wrong as the aircraft veered off course and headed for the seafront lined with spectators. The port wing and float hit a marker buoy and the Catalina spun totally out of control. The wingtip had been ripped off, but as Royal Marines went to the rescue, they found that apart from cuts and bruises, everyone on board was all right. Wing debris had damaged the fuselage, and rescuers fought a losing battle to stop the plane from sinking. Ohio third round women's LPGA championship, natural sound, 48 seconds. Washington, AT&T, and Communications Workers of America strike talks, natural sound, 36 seconds.
finally, East Lansing, Michigan, State University dorm fire injures 30...